And um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video about this uh, war that's heating up in the Middle East. And uh, it says uh, the Iranian warship deploys off Yemen coast after U.S. bomb healthy uh, targets. So uh, they are, they're pulling they're pulling Iranians in the mix. And this is what the Bible calls um, the Persians or the Medes. And uh, this is like Bible prophecy and, and, and a lot of people distracted with um, a lot of people distracted with the elections and what's going on with the elections or whatever. And football and sports, college football. And this is right around about the perfect time that they want to start um, you know, cleansing, so to speak. And, um, and these, this is, um, like Bible prophecy and, and people need to, uh, people need to wake up. He said, um, Iran has deployed a fleet of warships to Gulf of Aden. The Republic's na naval commander has confirmed the deployment um, follows U.S. crews missile strike on Yemen position, um, though to be under Halu rebel control. The Iranian, I'm just going to read this part. The Iranian Navy has sent the war, sent warships to international waters for a mission to include entering this, the areas off the southern coast of Yemen. Um, rear Avon Habla. Hub, Sir Sayuri confirmed Wednesday. There is the area is among the world's busiest Mediterranean trade route, and I think you know this is this is this is big man, and people people gotta wake up and um and just. You just seek the most high man, seek Christ, you know. And um uh, let me see. Iran has established a military presence off Yemen's coast just hours after Washington carried out its first direct strikes against Houthi forces. Uh, the uh, U.S. fired Tomahawk missiles from a warship in the Red Sea, we can just see over to the west over here, uh, while the Saudi-led coalition is bombing Houthi positions from the air. And here are some of their American-made uh, military jets. Now, Tehran has now entered the fray and sent its warships to this volatile area right down here on the southern coast, reportedly... See, now you see everything is, is, is heating up, man. It just is heating up. Then we got this war, war rumors of wars going on with, um, going on with Russia. And, um, and this is what Christ spoke about with, with these wars and rumors of wars. His prophecies, his words and his prophecies is coming to pass. And those that have eyes to see and, and ears to hear need to wake up and come up out of this world, come up out of this Babylonian world we're living in and see Christ and his laws and commandments, man. And we just need to come back and pray and pray for our families. And don't be distracted with football. Don't be distracted by these elections, these rigged up elections. You know, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even know if there's going to be an election, you know what I'm saying? So people just need to wake up, man, stop, you know, just pray, you know, and and this with this uh, Iran with the Bible called the Medes, uh, the Most High is stirring them up, man. This war right here, man. This war, the Most High is stirring this war up, man, because he's free, he's freeing his people, the poor people in the earth, man, which are the which are the children of Israel. And you know, and um, the UN just confirmed today that the the, the Jews has no connection to Palestine to Jerusalem. So the poor people in the earth, man, you are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to Scripture. And Christ said, "We must go throughout Matthew ten five and six. Said go 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 out to the go out to the um, lost sheep of the house of Israel, and tell them that the kingdom is at hand. And um, 
And this is this is and 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 you no, know, these wars are stirring up, man, because it's gonna it's gonna lead to destroying God's people all at once with the new world order, and um, they're gonna go and try to strike Iran, and this is big right here, man. To protect vessels from piracy. Now, the White House insists its airstrike was a defensive measure against a reported attempt by the Houthis to target a U.S. Navy destroyer. But the move threatens to take the conflict to a whole new level, as Artie's Paula Slear now reports. The last thing the United States needs right now is a new war on its hands. But as things heat up in Yemen, it's possible that the center of international conflict could be shifting from Damascus to Sana'a and expanding dangerously from a regional to global scale. In two separate incidents, missiles were fired at U.S. warships off the Yemeni coast. The Pentagon then authorized the hitting of three radar sites in rebel-controlled western Yemen in response, even though the Iran-supported Houthi rebels denied firing rockets. It's the first direct military strike by the U.S. in Yemen, which until now was limited to providing the Saudis with weapons and intelligence. This was a response to... Uh, direct threats to our people, to our ships, and uh, we were... See, you be, see, America want to go all around the world, take down countries and controlling them and, and Americanizing them, the great whore. And they want to be in their territory saying that they was being threatened. Well, you shouldn't have been over there in the first place. Well, we know that America being used by the EU, which is the Ten Horns, which is the Ten Horns, which is Rome being used to take down uh the earth f f in order for in order to bring their one world order so america just being used like a whipping board to take down countries like a bully around the earth and soon she will be dealt with once and for all but uh but uh you know you just can't be in the other people region and saying you you've been threatened so you can't believe nothing this these people say. See, you know, I think the Most High that He woke me up in these last times to see all of this. Christ said, Matthew um, thirteen, blessed are your eyes for you see and ears for you hear. You know, you tell people about these. Tell people that the children of Israel they need to wake up. Tell them about these wars. Tell them about the FEMA accounts. What they what you do, they get you, you get laughed at. You know, we just keep pushing the plow. Keep keep speaking truth. Keep, keep speak keep pray pray for the spirit of truth keep praying keep praying because they were going to reject you they reject they, they rejected christ and they rejected his words you know and he may you may feel lonely but hey just keep keep pushing responded to that threat and we will be prepared to respond again the next step after that was to see Iran deploy warships to the Gulf of Aden. The Iranians are, are confident that the Americans are lying uh, about uh, missile attacks on, on American vessels. Uh, they say that this is a... Yeah, they, you know, they always lie. And I don't... I'm not... I'm not taking up for Iran either. I, I could care less about either one of them. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I, I, want, I want the kingdom. That's all I want. I want to, I want to be with Christ, you know? But... America, America just, you can't believe nothing they say. Fabricated story so that the United States could uh, enter the fray on behalf of Saudi Arabia to boost Saudi morale because the Saudis are losing the war. They have lost the war. And having America getting directly involved could come at a high price. Consequence number one, the U.S. may find itself dragged into further military engagement. Consequence number two, or it could embolden Saudi Arabia to ramp up its airstrikes. And consequence three, which few would dispute, Yemen seems on its way to becoming the new geopolitical hot zone. Paul Slayer, RT. And the U.S. State Department is convinced it knows how to solve the conflict in Yemen. However, its spokesperson was questioned by journalists at a briefing. What the Secretary has been pushing hard for is, uh, you know... To and listen to the lying garbage. Just, yeah. Uh, they brought Iran into the mix. So, what is Iran according to scriptures? This is um, this is Isaiah thirteen, Isaiah thirteen and um seventeen. He said, "Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver." 
and as for gold that shall not delight in it, that bow shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the, of the womb, that I shall not spare children. And, and look at this 19th verse. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty, the beauty of the charity excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Now we know that everybody know, everybody know that uh, everybody know that uh, Babylon. Everybody know that Babylon is uh, America. And the Most High said that he was going to overthrow it like he did Sodom and Gomorrah. And, uh, and uh, that's key. Uh, let me see. That's, that's profound. Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 7. 24 and 4. And Jesus said, and Jesus, Yeshua, answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See ye be not troubled. So he he's saying, he telling us not to be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So he, he said, wars and rumors of wars, and don't be troubled. Nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So, the, so he's going to be nation against nation, like these race wars. Then they shall de deliver you up to be afflicted and kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my sake. It's right, like like I remember, like um, like I said, um, uh, like when people don't want to receive you or receive what you had to say concerning truth, they're gonna they're gonna hate you for it. Uh, ten, and then shall men be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets, pro, many false prophets shall rise and deceive many, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So the closer that we get to the end, the lo, the more the love is gonna is gonna wax cold. It's gonna seem lame. He's gonna he, when somebody talk about love, man, people think it's lame because Satan got people mind like. It's like it's like an ego that you had to have. If you don't have this this certain type of ego, that means you kind of lame. You talk, you know what I'm saying? You just you got to. It's just like you have to. You try to keep up with with the um with the beast, with the image of the beast. So the the more we get, the closer we get to the end, the the, the, the more wicked is going to become. Then if you talk about something positive being truthful something positive being nice or something that this it is it, 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 it's it's it's, it's going to the love is going to wax is going to wax cold <clears throat> but he shall but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved and this gospel shall be preached shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations then the end shall come so we must keep 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 talking to keep spreading truth. You know, keep telling people, yo, you know, just repent. You know, these these prophecies are happening. Come back to the laws and commandments. And um just um don't follow the don't follow the beast. This image of the beast. Don't follow America. Because this place this place is gonna be done after a while, um once they strike out once Iran get into the mix. You know, everybody talking about Russia, you know, yeah, that's important, but hey, when Iran cut loose, believe me, I'm telling you, not, don't believe me, search the scriptures yourself. It's, 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 that's all I, that's all I wanted. 
and the most high 